And welcome now, Corey Anderson. Um, I mean, that's just beautiful to see that. But um, how are you feeling now about this rematch? It's five years later, different different you and a different young. I mean, I feel great about it. You know, really confident in myself. I found that stride. Uh, after the OSP knockout, you know, I had to go back and go to the drawing board. And I realized I had never done any basic classes, any basic boxing, never took a Muay Thai kickboxing class. So I literally dedicated myself for months just like with people who come from work from a nine to five, taking classes with them and just learning the basics. And then uh, once I figured that out and got back into it, you see the last two You're years. You're blowing my mind phenomenal. though right now with that. <laughs> well, the proof is in the pudding because as you said, you'd never taken any <laughs> classes, which is just insane but now you're on a four fight win streak you're knocking people out and recently i mean you were off camera you heard what i said you knocked out johnny walker but there's a real attitude about you these days in a good way i mean so mm -hmm. so what has changed mentally i mean the mental part was even after everything i've done in three fights before the johnny walker it was still there but like Corey has beat nobody like i beat Alir Latif, who was ranked fourth and glover shakespeare ranked third who fought for the title and you can sit there and say those are nobody so that was kind of like disrespectful to me. And then for the UFC to call me and say, we want you to fight, they said Khalil Roundtree and then Luke Rockhold, then Johnny Walker. Like, none of these people are in the top five. Why, have not, why am I fighting outside? And it's kind of like, I told my wife, like, I remember going over to the fight, like, I just got to really kill somebody. Like, if he dies, he right. dies. That's the only way. <laughs> like, I'm pissed. Like, they keep doubting me. Like, the song I walked out to said, you should have never doubted me. And I just went out there and showed it why you shouldn't. Well, now here you are. I'm just curious to know, you've worked with Mark Henry and those guys <laughs> in New Jersey in a long time, for a long time. And I'm just curious, what, what did they tell you to get you over the hump mentally to approach that fight the way you did against Johnny Walker? Because primarily you've been a wrestler, but you went out that fight and you didn't even look like your old self. You looked like a totally revamped Corey Anderson. You went out there and you looked for the knockout. What is it that they told you that, to get you your confidence to go about that fight that way? I mean, it wasn't even my coaches said it. My coaches knew. They see it every day. Like, we see it every day. We hate the fact. The reason why it bothers us so much that people say this because we know what you do. We see you train every day, and we hate that you're not getting respect. It was my brother who called me and said, he said, bro, I hurt with you. Every time I see one of these interviews, I want to cry for you. The fact that they don't respect you, you got to go out there and hurt this man. And we both said, if he dies, he dies. Like, I didn't care anymore. If somebody died there and saw my hand, I'm going to be happy about it because I was angry. And you saw that after. I wanted to really, like, I kind of blacked out because I'm a professional person, but I was so angry. Like, I really wanted him to die right there so they can say, now put respect on my name. Am I not good enough now? I just want to throw it out there. Nobody's died nobody in the history of the that. UFC. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You know, all may, may the best of my win, but nobody died. Nobody <laughs> dies. But, but, but Corey, Jan Bojovic stuffed. A lot of Jacare's takedown attempts. Your wrestling is great, but do you think you have to get him down to win, or you can you beat him on the feet? I can beat him everywhere. You've seen it with Johnny Walker. He's a, what is it, firework in a bottle. That's what UFC said all week. You know, he's knocking people out, but who got knocked out? You know what I mean? I could do it all. I use my wrestling primarily because that's who I am. I'm not going to go away from it. But if the opportunity is there to hit him with these hands, he's going to feel these knuckles. One of the uh, big advantages that you had in the first fight was the wrestling. You took him down time and time again. Now we see you knocking people out, okay? <laughs> Are you expecting him to expect you to shoot, so therefore the hands come down and then you're looking to knock him out? I see by the smirk on your face, that's exactly what you're expecting. So you're going to go out there and look for the knockout in the first round. I mean, I'm going out there to look out to dominate. That's it. That's my mindset. That's the word. It's all camp. All it's been is dominate, dominate, dominate. What are you going to do? Dominate. What's your plan? Dominate. Everything is to dominate, whether it's wrestling, whether it's striking. Yeah, I think he's going to be worried about the takedowns. Mm. You've seen that's what gassed him out. So every time I fake, I think he's going to bite. Yep. He's going to open the hands. But once he starts worrying about the hands, we go to the wrestling. I can kick. I can do whatever. Right, so yeah. I got to be a mixed martial artist. That's the name of the sport, MMA. It's not mm. boxing. It's not Muay Thai. It's not wrestling. I got to put it together. And when opening come, take the advantage. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for joining us here, Corey. We know that the main event is going to be a great fight. And we may see you afterwards on the post show, in which Best case you can call out John. Once again. Hello everyone, it's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.